Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is a wheel you might have seen on TikTok, the 9Bot 1S2. So, let me tell you more about it. All right guys, so I wasn't really planning on uh, buying this wheel, but I got it for a special price in MediaMarkt when I was on a trip to a different city here in Poland. So yeah, the more wheels, the merrier. All of the other wheels I have are really big, beefy, and they have amazing performance and they can replace your car or motorcycle. But this is smaller and this is also from another era. The 9Bot 1S2 is from 2016 and in wheel years that's a really long time ago. It's almost like dog years for electric wheel evolution. And in the meantime there are several wheels that are on paper and both in real life way better than the 9Bot 1S2. Like for example the Emotion V5F and the Gateway M10 III. But I still want to guide you through all of the features, the real world performance of the 9Bot 1S2 and what makes it special amongst the other competitors. The 1S2 is a wheel made by a big company, 9Bot. They make the 9Bot Max and several other scooters that are very, very popular throughout the world. And this shows not only like in the beautiful design of the wheel, but it also shows in the quality and, you know, the the thoughtfulness of this product. You have a very comfortable handle on the top, which also acts as a cutoff switch for the motor. If you wouldn't press the handle, then it would suddenly stop uh, spinning. Takes a while. It has a big button up in the front to turn it on and off. It's waterproof with a IP rating of IP54, which a lot of companies, Gotway and Kingsong, still don't provide in 2021. It has a relatively fast and fanless small charging br brick, which charges the wheel up in three hours from zero to 100%, way faster than most cheap scooter alternatives. Although the charger gets uh, really hot when you are charging this wheel. Another thing I like about the 9Bot 1S2 is the app support. So the app is basically the same thing, the same thing you use on the 9Bot Max and other 9Bot devices. It's really clean, you can uh, like uh, save your trips here with the GPS. The range of this one was at around 18 kilometers, so less than the stated range, but maybe if I had more air in the tire I would have more. There's also settings here and you can set up different lighting presets. You can set up a vehicle password, you can calibrate it, even calibrate the handle, and you can upgrade, update the software, which is really nice. Then on this screen, you can also lock it, which is really cool. So if you lock it somewhere on a bicycle stand, it beeps very loudly and it starts to vibrate. Really, really awesome feature. I can unlock it in the app again. Here I can set up the modes. So there's sport mode, learning mode, and the beginner mode. Just use sport mode. So pretty cool app, really clean looking. It has easy to open pedals here on the side, which have like this nice contour here. So it's easy to flick it open with your foot. Uh, there's some nice LED lighting on the sides, which also turns as you go with the wheel. And it also has the charge port here in the back, DX12-4 for the charger. And with a nice like flap here in the back to keep it water resistant. The beeper is also loud, so you can hear when you reach the top speed. Good demonstration of tilt back. 
plus there's also tilt back so the wheel tilts you as the person riding back to prevent you from speeding too much on the wheel this wheel has a top speed of 24 kilometers an hour And surprisingly enough, this wheel also has pretty good performance for its size. Now it's not as good as the Emotion 5F as I re reviewed before and for the price can get something better. But we tested that it can climb actually up to 20 degree inclines, 21 degree inclines, although 9BOT states up to 15 degrees. I wouldn't recommend doing that a lot because you might just overheat the wheel. But nonetheless, I'm pretty uh, I'm impressed by that. The top speed is not really impressive and mostly will be going between 15 and 20 kilometers an hour since uh, it starts to beep pretty early. Um, the acceleration is also pretty nice and for the price uh, I would definitely go with something like this uh, instead of a Xiaomi scooter. Not to mention that you are hands-free, you can go a little bit of off-road, you can clear some curbs and you can even jump. Woo! But with all of these upsides, let me also mention you all of the things that I don't like about this wheel that much. When you drain the battery to actually like 10% or 9%, it starts beeping at you all the time. So you can't drain this wheel to 0%. I would say the usable range is from 100% to 15%, so around 14, 15 kilometers. And everything after that is just like a pain because it starts tilting back very quickly at about 10 to 15 kilometers an hour. And then when you have even lower battery, 9% and below and beeps all the time is absolutely annoying, frustrating and unusable. This wheel is very, very narrow. So I can't basically grip it with my calves here, which I usually do on other wheels. Now it's very comfortable to, you know, just turn off the wheel and put it into a compartment in a train even, but you know, this, had to, this has its upsides and downsides. The, the foot plates are very small, and as you can see here, compared to my size 44 shoe, yeah, they're pretty small, and the grip tape, I, I wouldn't call it even grip tape, it's just tape. <laughs> uh, the other thing is there is no front and back lighting per se, so no red light, I mean, you can't program the tail lights here so there is a brake light so I guess it has a brake light sort of but there is no front light like on the Motion V5F to provide you lighting when you ride in the night. There's also no trolley handle so if you're in a store you have to either just pick it up and walk around which is not too difficult because this wheels weighs just 11 kilograms but you know it's easier to if you could just like you know push it around with a trolley handle or you just put it into the basket which is also easy enough. Another thing I don't like that much about the Ninebot is the valve access. So because this is a pretty you know for electric unicycles small um, tire it's 14 inch um, you need to like check the pressure once in a while. Let me actually check what's the tire size here. It's 14 inch by 2.125 so 2 and 1 eighths. Pretty narrow but the thread is really nice can't complain there but as you can see the here is the here's the valve so can't really access it uh, usually so you have to have an extension like that it's provided in the box a similar one by nine bot and then you need to like screw it in and then you can pump it up a bit bothersome I don't know how easy it is to change the tire here I'll check that out at home in videos but usually changing a tire in a UC not the easiest easiest thing but you don't need to do it often because these things handle um, you know everything the road throws at it really nicely. It also has a pretty weird battery system. The, the maximum voltage is 63 volts so I guess just a perk uh, but the thing I wanted to elaborate on is that all of the new electric wheels that are coming out are usually either 84 volt peak voltage or 100 volts. So, Again, a bit of a older wheel and this is why we have the lower vol voltage. And the next thing is that 
the foot plates are really low. So, oops. <laughs> so it is good for, for learning because it's like easy to just hop on it and start riding, but um, you can scratch them quite easily. Now, when you're going really slow, it's not really an issue, but if you're going a bit faster and you want to take a turn faster, yeah, these foot plates are just too low and they're not really angled. I don't know why, but I get fatigue on this wheel really, really quickly. I tried to adjust it, like to have it tilting a bit forward, a bit backward, but after like riding four to five kilometers, I usually get fatigued and you know, I make range tests of over 150 kilometers uh, of riding in one sitting and I don't get as tired as on this wheel after five kilometers. Um, there's also a bit of like vib vibration when going below 13 kilometers an hour and over 18 kilometers an hour. Just like a, like you would have a phone vibrating in the wheel. It's kind of weird. I think it's uh, because this wheel has a high torque motor and it doesn't have such a high voltage. So maybe it just struggles with the top speed. And you know, it's not a fast wheel. And this is probably the next, next complaint. A Motion V5F is just like more fun because it has angled foot plates. They are higher so you can turn sharper. It's also better for, you know, going a bit of off-roading. And yeah, the Emotion V5F is also faster. M maybe you've seen this wheel on TikTok by the TikToker Piranka, I think, from Russia. And she always rides it. I think it's a beautiful wheel and it's, you know, very pocketable. It's, I bought it so I have something to give people to uh, learn on an EUC. I have a EUC to take into the train, which I used actually quite a lot of times already, like a last mile commuter. And it does that job very well. And for the price I got it at, which was around 230 euro, this was a steal. But for the price of the usual six to 700 euro, I would go with something else. So with that said, I hope that someday the gods of Ninebot, please, will make a new EUC. They made EUCs later on, like the Ninebot Z10 polarizing wheel, even for me. What? Questionable. Questionable, no, it's, it's very polarizing. Like the Ninebot Z10, a lot of fun to ride on a flat surface. In real world conditions, quite dangerous because it has very uh, narrow tire. It just steers you off in every direction not recommended for everyday use. But back to my point, I hope that a big company like Xiaomi, like Ninebot Segway, would make a new electric unicycle, you know, for the masses with the new standard, with high voltage, with a bit more speed, with the brilliant water resistance of the wheel. So we can popularize the electric unicycle even more because you know, it's just so fun. You have your hands free. I think there's a lot of applications for a lot of jobs in real world to, you know, use electric unicycles. There's firefighters in Paris that use in motion V5Fs for their job. And I think that even a small electric unicycle like this can give you a lot of fun, can be very helpful in your um, last mile commute. And yeah, just bring you a lot of joy. So with that said, this is the 9bot 1S2, the TikTok wheel. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.